Good morning, folks. I assume by now you've heard. The latest cargo launch on an Antares rocket has failed. Luckily, there were no humans on board, but this still counts as a major launch disaster, a major setback. Just watch. The explosion could be seen for miles, and the material burned for quite some time. Kicking to space weather, we are coming to the end of our solar uptick. The large spot announced its arrival with CMEs before cresting onto the Earth-facing disk, but failed to create any of those during a spate of flaring that included multiple X-class flares and more than a dozen that broke into M range. The largest sunspot in 25 years is about to exit the Earth-facing disk, we have seen a major decrease in flaring activity the last two days, still watching for some departing shots before it disappears, but we're also focused on the plasma filaments presenting an eruption threat right now. Watch the corona, top left there. First good size CME in days comes not from the sunspots, but from a filament releasing behind the limb. CME is not earth directed at all, but it does show how the filaments can be just like sunspots in terms of coronal mass ejections. Solar wind metrics are calm, but some swirling magnetic indicators suggest the sector boundary is close. We're already taking some magnetic instability. The boundary, the sunspot number drop-off to come, and two Earth-facing coronal holes re-ramp the earthquake factors for our first minor watch since the planets lined up two weeks ago. The southern opening is still showing as much more powerful, although the north is gaining a bit of force. Coronal fields still pinching the northern opening. Well, it looks like it's blocking the south a bit as well. Major Cyclone North Indian Ocean. This has deadly written all over it. It's heading right for western India and southern Pakistan. Alerts on high. We've had two unusual location rumbles the last day. I'd like to note that they reside with our developing storms in the area. This to be named soon. And the other just forming in the wake of the seismicity. Still got the moisture flow off the Pacific there, aided now by a heat flow off the western side of high pressure in the breadbasket. Meanwhile, the big low still regulates, now from eastern Canada. Convergence and wind drive should be readily apparent here, along with the NOAA alerts for this evening, east, midwest, and the northwest. Try to notice the convergence cutting atop the mainland coastline of Europe there, while clearly, the southeastern low refuses to budge or weaken substantially. Purple shows our top watch zones this evening. Down under, watch the moisture flow we've eyed now curl around New Zealand for a small convergence. Weaker but larger convergences can be seen in northeastern Australia and out to the west. That's where you see the three alert zones this evening. Got some great shots of our star to close today. It's 6.05 a.m. Eastern Time, 5.05 a.m. Central. That's the news. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.